Wool and Billy Shire Council election September 10, 2016. What your vote really means. Voting, what you need to know. Voting for some people, they love it and for some people hate it, but it really is your chance to make a difference. On September 10, 2016 is your chance to do that for your community. So please think about it and act consciously. So what does it actually mean? Council is overseen by councillors, but councillors only employee is the general manager meaning councillors can only direct the general manager who can then direct staff. So if councillors are not strong, they're unable to read, understand and apply legislation and policy as well as being focused, then staff could do as they please. I mean, imagine if you had councillors who couldn't interpret legislation and policy, what is likely to happen? It would be like putting someone in charge who speaks English, but the instructions are an example Chinese. You can imagine the outcome of that. So your vote on Saturday the 10th of September is going to allow the community to one, decide who the mayor should be by a popular elected vote, which can be done by ticking yes in the box and not just leaving that decision to just nine people. It will also give you a chance to not only put in new councillors, but also the opportunity for those councillors to dismiss the entire executive team if they have demonstrated non-performance during their contracts. Now your executive team are the following, according to council documents. In 2014 and 15, this is the annual report. You'll notice that council hasn't actually put in the names of the um, people, so we've done that for you so that you can understand. Okay, so this is the way that it goes. The mayor and councillors get to direct the general manager, who is Luke Johnson. Luke Johnson and Matthew Toro, this is the executive um, manager of executive services, and Taint Ryan is the manager of economic development. This then goes down to Ali Dench. <clears throat> now, the direct, who's the executive director of community services and corporate support. Michael Malone is the Director of Infrastructure and Environment and Chris Stewart is the Director of Planning. Now we couldn't find who the Manager of Development is but we're assuming it's Tate Ryan. The Manager of Community Services is Peter Wright. The Manager of Works is Justin Nyhan. The Manager of Infrastructure and Planning is Mike Nelson. The Manager of Finance is Ashley Christie. The Manager of Growth and Strategic Planning, again we couldn't find but we assume it's Tate Ryan. Manager of Governance is John Sproul. Manager of Compliance is Robin Cooper. Manager of Environmental Services is Brad Stagg. And Manager of Information and Technology is Marcello Chiodo. You'll notice that one of the witnesses in the police incident said that there was an Italian name manager. Um, I think you can guess which one that was. <coughs> also, the other thing is, is that these people here need to comply with legislation and they need to comply with policy. These people are in a managerial position. Now, if they're not applying policy and legislation and you've had experiences with them, then it might be worth remembering that your vote for mayor and councillors could in effect address all of the issues of these executive team, okay? These executive team is on the line as well. It's not just replacement of the mayor. It could be, if they're not performing, a replacement of this entire team. Now, if we have a look at the mayor, you know, what the expenditures were, there's a couple of things I want to draw your attention to. You'll see here down the bottom, it's got other expenditure. Okay, so this includes things like um, catering, membership, printing, salary and wages um, costs are not costs that are, salaries and on costs are not including in these costings. So the salaries aren't in there. So they spent $47,000 there. Have a look up here at the training that they spent. So in order for them to do their job better, they didn't spend a cent, nil. So when you are selecting who you are voting for, have a look who is on their ticket. Because if you select them and they have a current councillor on their ticket, you may in fact end up with the same people in council because they may give their votes away to anyone else on their ticket. If you want an entire new lot of councillors, the only true way to get that is to vote for people who have no current councillors on their ticket. If you want a new team, this is the only way to ensure the current councillors won't get your vote. Choose wisely on September 10 based on the facts. Who I will be voting for is Kelly Ferguson. She's out at East Ward Independent. She has nobody else on her ticket and she is somebody who can read and interpret the legislation. Okay, I would highly encourage you to have a look at the individual candidates. They are people who can really make a difference if you give them the chance.